Hello everyone. I've put my green furry blanket around me and I am ready now for a bedtime story. So I hope you've enjoyed today's activities um, and I really hope you like this story. This is called Crystal the Bored Caterpillar. Crystal was a beautiful caterpillar. She was long and smooth and a gorgeous light green. She wriggled around every day along branches and twigs and loved eating wonderfully juicy leaves. However, Crystal was a little unhappy. I'm bored, she moaned. Yes, Crystal was bored. Why, you might ask? Well, she was so fed up of eating green shoots and crawling through green bushes and looking at her green body, in the reflection of the pond, of course, that she was just really bored of the colour green. I hate green, she cried. The other insects didn't know what to say. One ladybird just happened to be flying over and shouted down to her, You're very lucky, Crystal. You're a beautiful colour. You will change, just you wait and see. Crystal didn't listen. Why would she need to eat all these green things? She ate a pear, which was quite juicy, and took a couple of bites out of a piece of broccoli and a rather large cabbage. More green food, she said. Every day, Crystal would have her breakfast, then moan about how she didn't like the colour of it. She would eat her lunch and then moaned about how she wished it looked a bit different from the boring green colour she saw in front of her. Then at dinner time, well, you've guessed it, she was moaning all over again. It was the same every day. One particularly warm day, Crystal felt a little, a little sleepy. She'd eaten a few green peas and some lovely green gooseberries. In fact, it had made her very sleepy. She was so sleepy that she was too sleepy and tired to even moan for a whole five minutes. That was a surprise. She decided it was probably better if she'd had another little sleep and wrapped herself up in a lovely warm green blanket. Crystal didn't wake up straight away. No, she must have been oh so very tired. A little while later, actually it was some time later, Crystal began to move under her warm blanket that she had been covered up. You could see her wriggling and moving a bit like me wriggling and moving about underneath, stretching and poking and prodding the warm blanket. Suddenly, a little hole appeared and Crystal's legs stuck out from it. Pop! Then another. Pop! Eventually, the blanket began to unfurl and out came, not the Crystal we knew well, but an elegant, brightly coloured crystal with the most beautiful wings outstretched and drying in the sun. It was just as if she had had them painted and she was hanging out to dry. My word, said all the local insects. They were so amazed with how beautiful she was. I told you, said the same ladybird before. Crystal, looked at herself in the pond reflection. She beamed, she smiled, and she never ever moaned about what she looked like again. She was a beautiful butterfly. The green food she had been eating all that time had helped her turn into a wonderful new insect. Off she flew above the waving green trees, floating along the breeze to be with other gorgeous butterflies like herself. I hope you enjoyed that. Now it's time to settle down, get 
kept yourself nice and warm and snuggled, close your eyes and go to sleep.